When it comes down to it, there could be thousands of stories to tell out here at Great Lakes National Cemetery. Men and women who gave their lives, but now there are 20 more because some soldiers who had been forgotten are now being honored here. I had to cry when I first came up here and I saw all the people. It's beautiful. Despite the cold, despite a gray, dreary day, dozens showed up to this special ceremony. Some clutching their chest, others giving a solemn salute as veteran after veteran made their way into the cemetery. Among them, Marshall Johnson. To see all of these people, you don't know them, and to think that they care that much. Donna Martin received a flag in honor of her brother, a Vietnam vet whose ashes were among those believed to be here. She was shocked in April to learn his remains were still inside the now-defunct Cantrell Funeral Home. News that, unless you've lived it, it really can't be explained. I didn't know. I didn't know whether they had cremated him. I didn't know where his body was. I didn't know if there were ashes. I didn't know. Which is why today's ceremony mattered so much to her and the smattering of other families that turned out. Those overseeing the services quick to reassure families. Today is extra special because, you know, these guys have peace now and um, I'm going to take care of them. But not to be forgotten, this is hardly over. <laughs> they should call him cowboy. This man clutching a photo of his uncle, Lawrence Wise, he tells me that five years ago, he too was led to believe his uncle's ashes were buried alongside his fellow vets, honored. Instead, they're in his back seat now, missing military discharge paperwork, preventing him from his day of honor. So he was in the military. He thought he's a veteran. And I'm still doing it all over again. So the fallout continues. But for those honored here today, there's finally some level of comfort. It really meant a lot to me. If you'd like to see a complete listing, all the names that were honored here today, I've got those posted at WXYZ.com. People that should never have been forgotten and now won't be. For 7 Action News, I'm Matthew Smith. Indeed, Matthew, thank you so much.